7 level hybrid cascaded H bridge multi level inverter. Abstract the poor quality of voltage and current of a PWM inverter fed induction machine is due to the presence of harmonics and hence there is significant level of energy losses. The multi level inverter is used to reduce the harmonics. The inverters with a large number of steps can generate high quality voltage waveforms. A cascaded H bridge multi level inverter that can be implemented using only a single DC power source and capacitors. Standard cascaded multi level inverters require NDC sources for 2N plus 1 levels. Without requiring transformers, the scheme proposed here allows the use of a single DC power source with the remaining N1 DC sources being capacitors. Which is referred to as hybrid cascaded H bridge multi level inverter. Only using only a single DC source for each phase is promising for high power motor drive applications, as it significantly decreases the number of required DC power supplies, provides high quality output power due to its high number of output levels and results in high conversion efficiency and low thermal stress as it uses a fundamental frequency switching scheme. The number of switches can also be reduced from the previous topologies by using this method. Index terms hybrid cascade multilevel inverter, cascaded multilevel inverter, fundamental frequency modulation, pulse width modulation switching loss reduction total harmonic distortion. I Introduction Multilevel inverter structures are superior as a choice of electronic power conversion for medium voltage and high power applications since it has improved output waveform which in turn reduces its respective harmonic content. It reduces the EMI and eliminate the need of filters. In recent years, industry has begun to demand higher power equipment, which now reaches the megawatt level. Controlled AC drives in the megawatt range are usually connected to the medium voltage network. Today, it is hard to connect a single power semiconductor switch directly to medium voltage grids, 2.3, 3.3, 4.16, 6.9 kV. For these reasons, a new family of multilevel inverters has emerged as the solution for working with higher voltage levels. Multilevel inverters include an array of power semiconductors and capacitor voltage sources, the output of which generate voltages with stepped waveforms. One of the biggest problems in power quality aspects is the harmonic contents in the electrical system. Generally, Harman ICS may be divided into two types, 1, voltage harmonics, and 2, current harmonics. Current harmonics is usually generated by harmonics contained in voltage supply and depends on the type of load such as resistive load, capacitive load, and inductive load. Both harmonics can be generated by either the source or the load side. Harmonics generated by load are caused by nonlinear operation of devices, including power converters, arc furnaces, gas discharge lighting devices, etc. Load harmonics can cause the overheating of the magnetic cores of transformer and motors. On the other hand, source harmonics are mainly generated by power supply with non-sinusoidal voltage waveform. Voltage and current source harmonics imply power losses, electromagnetic interference, EMI, and pulsating torque in AC motor drives. Thus, the reduction of harmonics become one of the major issue in these electrical and electronic systems. Thus, the concept of using multilevel inverters were introduced into various fields after its evolution. The multilevel voltage source inverter is recently applied in many industrial applications such as AC power supplies, static VAR compensators, drive systems, etc. One of the significant advantages of multilevel configuration is the harmonic reduction in the output waveform without increasing switching frequency or decreasing the inverter power output. The output voltage waveform of a multilevel inverter is composed of the number of levels of voltages, typically obtained from capacitor voltage sources. The so called multilevel starts from three levels. As the number of levels reach infinity, the output THD approaches zero. The number of the achievable voltage levels however, is limited by voltage unbalance problems, voltage clamping requirement, circuit layout, and packaging constraints. Three capacitor voltage synthesis based multilevel inverters are introduced, i.e. 1, diode clamped multilevel inverter 2, flying capacitor multilevel inverter 3, cascaded inverters with separated DC sources. Unlike the diode clamp or flying capacitors inverter, 
the cascaded inverter does not require any voltage clamping diodes or voltage balancing capacitors. This configuration is useful for constant frequency applications such as active front end rectifiers, active power filters, and reactive power compensation. Choosing appropriate conducting angles for the age bridges can eliminate a specific harmonic in the output waveform. There are several types of multilevel inverters but the one considered in this paper is the hybrid cascaded multilevel inverter, HPMLE. The structure of the HPMLE is not only simple and modular but also requires the least number of components compared to other types F multilevel inverters. This in turn, provides the flexibility in extending the HPMLE to higher number of levels. Without increase in circuit complexity as well as facilitates packaging. Two multilevel inverter architecture. Each phase of a cascaded multilevel inverter requires NDC sources for two N plus one levels. For many applications, obtaining so many separate DC sources may preclude the use of such an inverter. To reduce the number of DC sources required when the cascaded H bridge multilevel inverter is applied to a motor drive, a scheme is proposed in this paper that allows the use of a single DC source, such as battery or fuel cell as the first DC source with the remaining N1 DC sources being capacitor in the cascaded H-bridges multilevel inverter, which is referred to as the hybrid cascaded H-bridge multilevel inverter, HPMLE. The proposed HPMLE has a low number of DC sources and retains the low switching frequency advantage. The control goal of the HPMLE needs to maintain the balance of the DC voltage level of the capacitors while producing a nearly sinusoidal three-phase output voltage using a low switching frequency harmonic elimination method. 3. Working principle of 7-level HPMLE A 7-level hybrid cascaded H-bridge multilevel converter has two H-bridges for each phase, one H-bridge is connected to a DC source, another H-bridge is connected to a capacitor as shown in Fig. 1. The DC source for the first H bridge, H1, could be a battery or fuel cell with an output voltage of VDC, and the DC source for the second H bridge, H2, is the capacitor voltage to be held at VC. The output voltage of the first H bridge is denoted by V1, and the output of the second H bridge is denoted by V2 so that the output voltage of the cascaded multilevel converter is V, T, equals V1, T plus V2, T. By opening and closing the switches of H1 appropriately, the output voltage V1 can be made equal to VDC, 0, or VDC while the output voltage of H2 can be made equal to AND VDC slash 2, 0, and VDC slash 2 by opening and closing its switches appropriately. To regulate the capacitor's voltage to guarantee the output power quality, 7-level fundamental switching scheme has been proposed. This switching scheme uses a possible cycle to output, VDC and VC, VDC, VDC VC, 0, VDC VC, VDC, VDC and VC. Voltage levels dot and the DC source is charging the capacitor S simultaneously when producing, VDC VC, and, VDC VC, which is called a charging cycle. Similarly, the switching scheme uses another possible cycle to output. VDC and VC, VDC, VC, 0, VC VDC, VDC and VC, voltage levels, and the capacitor can be discharged simultaneously which is called a discharging cycle. Then the capacitor's voltage can be regulated by charging and discharging when the multilevel converter is running. When plus VDC slash 2 is chosen, the output voltage waveform is a 7-level waveform. By opening and closing the switches of H1 appropriately, the output voltage V1 can be made equal to VDC, 0 VDC or while the output voltage of H2 can be made equal to AND VDC slash 2, 0, or VDC slash 2 by opening and closing its switches appropriately. Therefore, the output voltage of the inverter can have the values dash 3 VDC slash 2, VDC, VDC slash 2, 0, VDC slash 2, VDC, 3 VDC slash 2 which is 7 levels. Thus output 7 level voltage can be achieved by adding V1 and V2 in two different ways. The output 7 level voltage waveform obtained by adding the 2 voltage level is represented in figure 3. Fig.2 shows how the waveform of Fig.3 is generated. Let 
be the angular range for the operation of H bridges. If for point 1, point 2, V1 equals VDC and V2 equals VDC slash 2 are chosen. The fact that the output voltage level VDC slash 2 can be achieved in two different ways is exploited to keep the capacitor voltage regulated. Dot which is explained in the figure 4. For obtaining 7 level in this HMLE capacitive source, should have a value half to the DC input supply is selected. Capacitance value is decided based on the following factors. 1. The capacitance value is chosen large enough so that the variation of its voltage around its nominal value is small, generally speaking, one can choose the capacitor load time constant to be 10 times than that of the fundamental period. 2. The capacitor charging energy is greater than or equal to the capacitor discharge energy in a cycle. 4. Simulation analysis the simulation results of hybrid cascaded H-bridge 7-level multilevel inverter for single-phase induction motor and the simulation results for three-phase circuit is also given. The hybrid cascaded H-bridge MLI for single-phase circuit is given in Figure 5. The single-phase circuit consists of two H-bridges. Each bridge consists of four IGBs. The two bridges are connected together, also a load resistor is connected across the bridges. The output is taken across the load resistor. The two bridges consists of separate input DC sources. A proper switching sequence is selected for producing the seven levels at the output by opening and closing the switches of the two H bridges. Here pulse generators are used for producing the necessary pulse width and phase delay. If necessary pulse generators are combined together through OR gates to produce the required pulses. A 7-level waveform is obtained as the output of the given circuit. For extending a hybrid cascaded H-bridge multilevel inverter for single-phase circuit into three-phase circuit, three single-phase circuits are connected together through one end terminal. And through the other end they are connected to a three-phase star connected load. The voltage across the three phases are measured and is viewed through a scope. 4. Obtaining the three-phase circuit output we wanted to maintain 120. Phase shift across the three single-phase circuits. Thus seven-level output voltage waveforms which are phase shifted by 120. Is obtained in the three phases as output dot which is shown as the simulated output of the three-phase circuit is given in figure 8. The output waveform of a three-phase hybrid cascaded multilevel inverter which is 120. Phase displaced with each other is represented in figure 8. Here simulation is done for obtaining an output voltage of 230 in both single and three phase circuits. The only three phase circuit is connected to an asynchronous machine model is simulated and is represented in fig URE 9. A constant torque and the outputs from three single phase circuits are fed as an input to the asynchronous machine. The various parameters of stator, rotor, also mechanical parameter can be included in the measurement by selecting parameters using the bus selector. Here stator currents through three phases is measured. And their phase shifted output waveform obtained is shown as the simulated result. The three phase. Fig 8. Output waveforms for three phase circuit. Fig 9. Hybrid cascaded H bridge multilevel inverter three phase circuit connected to an induction motor. Only connected to an induction machine is represented as figure 9. And their stator current output waveforms are represented by using figure 10. Here measurement is taken on 5.4 HP 400 V 50 Hz 1430 RPM asynchronous machine and its stator parameters are plotted by using this method. In all these circuits pulse width and phase delays are adjusted using pulse generators method. Which is method used in this paper for simulation. The stator currents represented in figure 10 which are displaced 120 to each other in their all three phase. Similarly rotor parameters mechanical parameters of induction motors can be plotted by using their simulation. V hardware implementation. The hardware circuit of the prototype is divided into two parts, the microcontroller based control circuit and power circuit. The power circuit consists of two H bridges. Each H bridge consisting of four MOSFET named IRF830. Also, the Fig 10 output stator current waveforms for a three phase circuit connected to an induction motor. 
section consists of a single DC source for the H1 bridge and capacitive source for the H2 bridge. The control circuit section consisting of an easily programmable and erasable 89C51 microcontroller and four fan ICs, IC7392, the assembly LAN gauge program burned into the microcontroller determines the duration of gate pulses of each MOSFETs, thus the switching of H bridge. Fan 7392 is a high speed power MOSFET and IGBT gate driver and fan ICs acts as an interface between the H bridge and 89C51 microcontroller. The main portions of the HMLE is power circuit and control circuit. These circuits are explained in this section. The power circuit mainly consists of two H bridges, which are cascaded together. Here, each H bridge consists of four switching devices. That is four MOSFETs, IRF830. Thus, the power circuit totally consists of eight switches. The MOSFETs in the power circuits are driven using fan ICs. IC7392. Each fan IC is capable of driving two MOSFETs. Fan ICs are the part of the control circuit. Here, the switching action of the MOSFETs of the power circuit provides the necessary output voltage waveform across the load terminals, which is determined by the gate signals generated by the control circuit consisting of 89C51 microcontroller. Here a portion of the power circuit consisting of a single H-bridge having four switches driven using two fan ICs are represented in figure 11. The control circuit mainly consists of a microcontroller 89C51. which is easily programmable and erasable for 1000 cycles. And four fan ICs, IC7392, which are used for the gate driving of high-speed MOSFETs. And these fan ICs acts as an interface between the 89C51 and the power circuit. An assembly language program is written and it is burned into the 89C51. The width of the gating signals required for triggering MOSFETs is determined by the 89C51. Thus, by changing the program written in the 89C51, it is possible to change the switching pattern of the power circuit. Crystal oscillator is provided in this circuit to give necessary clock input to the microcontroller. A reset switch is also provided in this circuit, which is used for resetting the operation of the microcontroller. The 89C51 used in the control circuit is schematically represented in Figure 12. Fig 11. Power circuit consisting of H bridge controlled by fan ICS. Fig 12. Control circuit consisting of AT89C51 microcontroller. The voltage required for the working of the 89C51 is 5V. This can be generated from a 1-2V DC supply by using a voltage regulator LM317 by varying the variable resistor of voltage regulator. Diode bridge circuit and capacitors are necessary when the input supply is AC. The hardware circuit is represented in figure 13. 6 results and discussions. The gating signals required for triggering the switches of bridge H1 is represented in figure 14. This gating signals for switches from S1 S4 is measured in the DSO. This gating signals are measured from the pin NO1 to 4 of 89C51 MICR controller using the DSO or these signals can be measured from the fan ICS. The gating signals required for triggering the switches of bridge H2 is represented in figure 15. This gating signals for switches from S5 S8 is measured in the DSO. This gating signals are measured from the pin NO5 to 8 of 89C51 microcontroller using the DSO or these signals can be measured from the fan ICS. These gating signals determines the proper. Fig 13. 7 level hybrid cascaded H bridge MLI. Fig 14. The gating signals for switches S1 S4 obtained in DSO. Switching strategies of H bridges and their output waveforms also. The HMLE circuit is wired. Input supply of 1 2 VDC is supplied to the input terminals of 89C51. The two output terminals of H bridges are connected across the probes of the